what kinds of AI matter? What are the distinctions that matter to us as marketers? All of us are familiar with A-B testing as we're doing personalization. We take 50% of our traffic, show them something new, take the other half, show them something that we're familiar with. It's great because it's data-driven marketing. But often we as marketers then say, look, I don't want to treat everyone the same. And so we turn to the next kind of AI, which is rules. If this, then that. And it's great because we're not treating everyone the same. We as marketers say, hey, that did well for me. I want more like that. And so we'll then create additional rules. Practically as marketers, we tend to top out at a few tens of rules. This mess of rules causes us to often think about the next kind of AI, which is machine learning. It begins with data. Then you'll pick an algorithm. You then make a prediction, you see what happens, you create more data, and the cycle continues. The system is effectively creating a huge number of rules, auto-discovering segments, and updating them over time automatically. Machine learning can handle an awful lot at once. 78 million is the average number of versions of a page our customers managed over the last couple of years. 25 is the average number of years of A-B testing each one of our customers did every year. Four is the number of hours it took machine learning to react when one of our customers ran a big promo. They tripled their traffic overnight. When correctly applied, machine learning can have a big impact on our business. 46% is the average lift our customers saw over the last two years across all of our customers in the metrics they defined as important to their business. And together, these four things enable us as marketers to do the one-to-one -one marketing, the individualized personalization we've been talking about forever.